What's going on guys, it's Elias, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to discuss something that I've been asked a few times. Now, if you're wondering how to ask a question, you can go follow me on Instagram, people have been sending me questions through there, as well as my email, it's uh, flyinggato, realflyinggato at gmail.com. So, in today's video, we're gonna cover how to fully disinfect your car's interior. So obviously, there's a very good reason why so many people are asking me how to deep clean their car and make sure there's no bacteria or other germs, viruses in their interior. People are a little bit worried about this coronavirus, this COVID-19. I totally understand and I hope you guys are being safe and keeping safe. I know a lot of people may think it's not a big deal. It kind of is. I think the best course of action for this is to quarantine our older folks and making sure that those that are vulnerable are quarantined and taken care of and also to make sure you follow the guidelines of your local state and local government as well as of the federal government so besides that a lot of people want to know how do they deep clean their interior make sure that there's nothing in there obviously one of the first things that i would recommend is you get a disinfectant wipe or a disinfectant spray and start wiping down the main part of the interior that can come into contact with somebody that's sick or not or yourself if you're sick or not you don't know it's one of those asymptomatic things that you can be carrying it and not knowing it so make sure you wipe everything down but even still if you sneeze in a car, everything goes everywhere and you may not be able to get every nook and cranny. Some of you folks are actually a little bit worried about that and want to make sure you clean your car thoroughly. Well, I'm going to give you a solution that is going to not only make your car smell clean, it'll, it'll actually disinfect everything. It is a solution, however, that we have to be careful with. Let's get into it. So here it is. Here is the solution. This is an ozone generator. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this before. Some of you have, some of you haven't. There are a lot of cautions and warnings that go along with using this. So before I show you how to use it, and I will show you exactly how to use it safely, let's go over those warnings. So in the past, I've used this to completely take away any odors from any of my cars. And actually, I've actually used it to completely clean out my basement of any mold or anything like that. What an ozone generator does is it creates ozone, it creates O3s. O2 is the stable form, O3 is the unstable form of oxygen. That extra oxygen wants to attach to other organic material. When it does attach to other organic material, that organic material basically dies. I'm simplifying it, but that's basically how it works. So knowing that, and knowing that humans are organic material, you have to be extremely careful, like I said. This will kill plants, animals, bugs. Anything that lives will be killed, or at least this will hurt anything that lives pretty badly. So some of the effects that this does to a human being if you have prolonged exposure is permanent damage to your lungs. You definitely don't want that, especially in this time of year or what's, happened, what's going on today. You want your lungs to be as healthy as possible right now. So be very careful using it. Now with all that said, of course, there is many, many ways that you can use this very safely. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use it safely. I've done this before a number of times. I do suffer from asthma, so I also have to be extra careful by, uh, about using this, but I never had a problem because I use it in a very safe manner. So let me show you guys what I do to make sure that my car comes out smelling great. And on top of that, it comes out with absolutely zero viruses or zero bacteria and it's super clean. So as you can see, I've got some extension cords going to my wife's Jane's BMW 335D. Now she was just commuting in this thing and her place of work did come out with a case, unfortunately, of this Wuhan flu, so unfortunately, you know, we we're gonna have to disinfect this just to be sure that we're all good to go. I'm taking precautions, it's not a big deal, like I said, but hey, I have this, let's go take a look at it. So, another thing is, I'm going to put everything in a description of this. If you want to go ahead and buy what you need to do this, it's all gonna be in the description. So as you can see down here. And there is the ozone generator. Now, as you can see, I put it as high up as I possibly can with the business portion pointing out because as you may, may or may not know ozone tends to sink it wants to go down it's heavier than air so it's going to come on we're going to come down and into the foot wells it's going to come down real nice if i put it down here it may not get up 
all the way up here. So you want to put it at the highest spot that you possibly could. Don't worry about it too much because you are going to be sealing up your car. After you set everything up, you connect everything. Make sure you can close your door without issue. As you can see, I can close my door. No problem. All doors closed. And that's a safety issue, a safety precaution. I'm going to turn it on. Now, before I turn it on, you're gonna to wanna to have your key with you because after you turn it on, you're gonna to wanna to lock the doors to make sure nobody gets in. Now, this next step is actually crucial because here you can set the amount of time you want. Let me see if we can focus on that. I guess we can, there we go. The amount of time you want this thing to be on. You can put it 30 minutes, 60, 90, 120 and up. Now, if you're really concerned, you can put it up to 120, 150, 180, and the more time you put, the, the more ozone it generates and the more organic material it gets rid of. So in my opinion, anywhere between 30 and 60 minutes is more than enough. I've, like I said, used this a lot to take away anything that smells from the car. Sometimes people throw up in your car and you have to clean it. This is the best way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to 60. Now, as soon as you hit that dial, it will turn on. So what I would do is stand slightly outside the car, hold your breath in, set the time, and close the door. So you're going to hear me hold my breath, set the time, close the door, and then breathe again. It's just an extra precaution. See, nice and easy. Everything is sealed up, everything is closed. And then a final step is to lock your doors. Let's revisit when this is finished, how I deal with opening the car back up because that, that is the final step. Stay tuned. One hour later. So I've set it for 60 minutes. I've let it sit for about an hour and a half, hour 45. I wanted to do something else. I am back and again, these are crucial steps to, so listen to the end so you don't damage your lungs. Alright, so you're going to want to unlock the doors. You're going to want to hold in your breath. And open up all of the doors. Now make sure you have nobody around you. Make sure you supervise it because right now all of that ozone we generated is coming out of the car and whoever breathes that in can potentially get harmed by it. Now, if you breathe a little bit, it's not that big a deal, but again, we're just being extra careful, extra caution, extra caution never hurts. So I've sat next to it for about 20 minutes, made sure no one was around it. We're all good to go. As you get near it, you smell, it smells fresh. You know, that's the first thing you smell. It smells fresh, it smells, Almost like you bleach the whole thing, kind of. Can't really explain it. It just smells clean. It smells like there's nothing living in here, which pretty much nothing can live in here. Anything that breathes will, will get killed by this thing. There's the ozone generator, sitting nice and pretty. I think we'll take it out and we'll be all set. So it's my recommendation if you do this to let the car sit overnight, just so that you don't have anybody actually smelling or, or sniffing up any remnant remaining ozone or O3. It's just uh, another precaution. Like I say, it's just always better to have some precautions and, and use this properly. Or if you need to use it right away, if you need to use it within the hour, I'll just leave the doors open or the windows open and it'll air out and you'll be fine. All right, guys, I think that pretty much wraps it up. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it helps you out. Now I am more than sure there's no bacteria, no germs in my car or any of the cars that I have. I do this once in a, in a blue moon, once in a while to all of my cars. I do it to the basement of my house. I actually do it to my venting system of my house whenever my plants and everything else are out of the house. I take everything out and I put it into my ventilation system just to kind of clear out any mold or anything else like that. Like I said, all the links in the description in case you're wondering what I was using. I've been using that ozone generator for four years now. It's an awesome ozone generator. I recommend it. It's never broken on me. It's actually a pretty simple system. So if you have any questions, put it down below. You can follow, find me on Instagram at Flying Gato. You can find me on my email. It's realflyinggato at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Stay safe out there. Peace.